Welcome back, welcome back. You are listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on KCBQ 1170. If you ever want to reach out to us, you can always visit us on whistlewednesdays.com or give us a call or text us, 619-663-SELL, 619-663-7355. And before the break, we were talking with Daniel Beer with Windermere Homes and Estates. And he is, has the honor right now of listing a Chargers great Darren Sproles home. <laughs> Let's talk about this house. Oh, this is just a great house. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with uh, the Sproles family since 2012. Sold their house in Scripps, uh, helped them move to Santa Luz. Um, but they're now making another move. They're staying in San Diego and keeping their primary residence here, their off-season home here in San Diego. But this, this home in Santa Luz is just an amazing property. It's um, extremely well-priced. Okay. It is very, very competitively priced. Um, it, it is a custom home, so just about 6,000 square feet, four bedrooms, plus office, plus bonus room, or what they use as a game room, um, plus theater. And I'm talking professional, built-out theater, nice. the whole thing, microwave for the popcorn, you know, just, just totally decked out. Um, you know, wood pizza, pizza oven outside, <laughs> full, full outdoor kitchen, pool, just the whole thing. It's, Everything it's you awesome imagine, house. Right? We have it on the market at 2780. Wow. Um, which, you know, I know is a big number, but if you know the Santa Luz market, especially for custom homes in Santa Luz, that really is just a phenomenal, well-positioned house. It's at the end of a cul-de-sac, and it's, uh, it was built by a great builder, Jim Height, who did a great job of building a number of homes, uh, not just through all our interest Santa Fe, but then did a few of them in Santa Luz as well. Is that a custom home then? Fully custom home. Okay. Fully custom home, so we've just brought that on. We've had a uh, really great traction with the property so far, and we're looking forward to a quick sale with, with, with that house. So if anybody wants more information, they're, they're welcome to get in touch. Okay, and how would they do so? Well, the best way to do so is uh, by phone at 858-337-7409. They can also go on our website, danielbeergroup.com. That's Daniel Beer Group. Beer is spelled just like the drink. So danielbeergroup.com, and they'll be able to get in touch with uh, myself or one of our agents. Awesome. And then I know that you recently helped another former Charger LT with the sale of his home. Yeah, we, you know, we had just an amazing time selling with Daniel Tomlinson's house and um, came to us through a contact in Los Angeles that needed a good agent to work with here locally. Uh, a lot of people in San Diego know that LT's house had been on the market for, uh, I believe it was just about four years that it had been on the market. He'd been trying to sell it and unsuccessfully. Um, so it's amazing, you know, we went, we sat down with them and, and, and had this first meeting to, to figure out why it hadn't sold, why it was still on the market. It's in a great neighborhood. It was over at the Heritage uh, with Madeira's Golf Course right there. And so, you know, when we looked at it, we realized that the property needed a new storyline, it needed to be repurposed, it needed to be staged, and the pricing strategy didn't make sense because relative to where they were willing to sell the home, the price was was just too far off, right? And, and not by a lot. It was at three. It was listed for three seven fifty, and we brought it to three uh, to three five. Okay. Now, what's interesting about that is that they were willing to take a lower number. And so I said, well, why are we listed at that higher number? And their answer is, is that most most people out there, certainly most homeowners and their agents, really, they're not paying attention to really the most important um, metrics to go by when you're pricing a home. And one of those is the list to sales price ratio for that particular area for that neighborhood. And, you know, as Kyle, I'm sure you'll agree, most property is selling actually fairly tight to the list price. Yeah, I think most of the numbers are close to 99% of what they're listed for right and, now. In most communities, they are. And so what we're finding is that even if you even if you miss the boat by just a little bit, so if you add a you know, percentage point or two to your list price, it's amazing how the neighbor can sell in under a week. And then... And you, get, you can't sell in four years. You can't sell in four years just because you're slightly... It's it's not that you know it's not that 3750 was their target sale price. They right. just thought that was the right marketing number. And the agent they worked with at that point thought that was the best thing. And so when we made that simple adjustment, staged the house, and just created a lot of media and put a lot of eyeballs on the house, was sold in 16 days at full price. So yeah, did that buyer come from our radio show? I remember as you had on the TV, Kyle. Do we get any piece of that? Yeah, where's my referral fee? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Is he as nice a guy as is, we've all seen him you know, on the field? You know, it was great. He was really just a great guy, really nice guy. What I found just to be special about the experience of working with him is I've worked with a number of different athletes. So I've had the pleasure of meeting musicians. Um, celebrities, all kinds of people, and honestly, I'm not too shell-shocked by that whatsoever. They're just people. 
cool thing about LaDainian Tomlinson is that rarely in any field, right, it doesn't have to be a celebrity, it could be in business. It, it's, it's, there's just something special about being in the room with someone who's literally one of the best ever at what they're doing. Absolutely, something one that, of the best ever. Right, something that you know, tens and tens and tens of thousands of people have attempted to do. And he's arguably, you know, whether you think he's number one, number two, number three, four, or five, he's one of those. He's in the right? conversation. He's in the conversation. And so there's a different air to somebody like that. You know, I'd have to imagine if I was in the same room as a Warren Buffett or just, just as, you know, Elon Musk or just some, that kind of business person. It'd be the same sort of feeling. And so it, there was something special about it in that respect. And it was uh, a great experience to be just just with a person that's committed their lives to dominating and being the know, best of the court, best on that thing. I mean, whatever they do. Remember this, right. Kyle, when, when you invited me into your fantasy football league, my, I got the first pick. I got lucky to just get the first pick. And of course, this was years ago. And I picked LT. And that was the year he was scoring like three touchdowns a week. And, Kyle, and I was still losing, but he was giving me like 40, 50 points. And Kyle's like, how are you losing? Because I was figuring it out. My second pick was Reggie Bush. And that was his rookie <laughs> year. That's how bad, you know. I picked it as my, and a Randy Moss when he was a Raider. What? All right, yeah, Randy Moss as a Raider was a horrible pick, but I was brand new, didn't understand fantasy football. But LT definitely, in five years, was by far maybe had the best five-year run of any running back of all time, in my opinion. Of course, I'm a Charger fan, but in those five years, there was nobody better. And when you watch this this past week, we would run 37 yards. I mean, I was sitting there thinking, we never had a game where we only ran 37 yards when LT was 100% healthy, ever. You know, and that was guy, the first quarter. You saw how Jamal Charles ran all over New England. So us, us as Charger fans, like, oh my gosh, can't see, starting to look like a real team again after a few losses. Now we're like, whoa, we got to deal with him in a few weeks. You know, but LT was the man. Definitely. So again, you're listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on KCBQ 1170. We're talking with Daniel Beer, Windermere Homes and Estates. And so you guys did this for LT, helped them sell a home, it's been four years on the market, you guys came in, got it sold in a matter of weeks. You guys have kind of carved out a niche for yourself doing this for clients. So what are some of the other things, you know, a listener who's maybe been trying to sell their home for a while, months, even years, what are some things they should know that, you know, could help them get that home sold? The most important thing is you want to get yourself aligned with an agent that has a proven strategy, a track record of having done it before and is going to provide you with something different. You know, it's just absolutely amazing how we'll talk with somebody who has a, a listing that's expired after, say, six months on the market with somebody else, and they're going to give them another chance. So they're going to go back and, you know, well, I want to give them two more weeks because they said they're going to do something different. You know, are they really? First of all, if they are, then why didn't they do it before? But typically what's going to happen is they're going to do the same thing. And Einstein, and one of my favorite quotes, I'm sure one you've heard before, Kyle, is if you do the same thing, you know, repeatedly and expect a different result. That's the definition of insanity, right? right? So you want to, if, if whatever, if you already have the proven result of your strategy not working, you're going to want to look for a different one. And we've had success with this from neighborhoods as wide as from Bonzel to Pacific Beach, Poway. We have one in escrow right now in Del Mar that's been on the market for a couple of years. Um, and we popped it into escrow in two days, literally. Nice. Um, so, and you can see that it's public record. The home is on El Amigo, and the reason why is you're approaching from a just you, you just have to approach it from a different perspective, repurpose the property. It, it could be a presentation issue. It could be a, a pricing issue. And by the way, that pricing issue doesn't mean that we necessarily are dropping it. It could be that it's just not strategically placed in a way that, you know. Like you said, even within the dynamics, the 99%, knowing that, like you talked about earlier. Price is, a, price is part of marketing. That's all it is, right? It, and so when you when you do that, um, that, that's the most important thing, Kyle, is to align yourself with an agent that, that has that track record. It's not about it being the, him being the community expert. Right. You know, it's proven across the, across literally San Diego counties, so. Definitely, yeah, so I mean, if you want to connect with Daniel, again, the best number to reach him at, 858-337-7409. Again, it's 858-337-7409. We'd love to get you connected with Daniel. He can tell you a little bit more about what he can help you do to get your home sold. When we come back, we're going to be talking with Roland Lightenberg with House Call, which is one of the coolest apps I have seen in a long, long time. So stay tuned for that. You're listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on KCBQ.